this demo is going to help us use a program called Universal Extractor. Um, we use this quite a bit in our studios. Uh, the application will help you uh, extract files out of any installer, like a Windows installer, MSI package, a zipped file, and it moves all of those files within that package to a folder so you can look at them before you actually run the setup installer. Kind of a nice feature. I wish uh, we could do that with all of our install packages, but apparently uh, and unfortunately we cannot. So the first step is we need to download the installer and with that our URL website is http colon forward slash forward slash www dot leg room dot net slash software slash uni extract once you get to that website just scroll down under download and the recommended install is right here we're going to download that to a file folder we're going to save the file I'm going to put it on the desktop for now into a new folder and we're going to call that downloads one okay and I'm going to double click on that so that I'm definitely saving it in downloads one and I'm going to hit save and now that I have that file in my downloads I'm going to double click and I'm going to go ahead and extract and in install. So I'm going to hit OK and run. Hit Next. It's going to install it in C program files universal extractor. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm not going to turn on the language support but I am going to go ahead and support all these different file types so that if I do have one that I want to extract before I actually run the program it will see those and recognize those. Hit next. This is going to be our setup file in our, pro in our start menu. And that's going to be the actual name in the start menu folder. Hit next. And again, just some more options that we want to take a look at. Do we want to maintain the archive history and so forth? Remove any duplicate files. Um, warn before executing any files that we, you know, we don't want to do before we actually get to look at all of the files. So we're going to hit next. And then here we're going to just uh, any additional tasks that we want to do. Um, I always just go with the defaults here that come come with the program. I'm going to do a create a desktop icon and I'm not going to create a quick launch button but the rest of these I'm going to just go with the default hit next and install. Okay now we're going to hit the finish button and we are ready to run our program. Okay, I have a downloaded file from VLC Player and with the extractor I can go ahead and right click on this file now that I've installed the Universal Extractor and I can say Extract to Subdirectory which I'm going to go ahead and do and run and it's going to scan this exe install package and it's going to extract all the files to this folder so I can take a look at all of the files that will be installed before we actually do the install. It's a little bit safer to do it this way, especially if you're getting an EXE from somebody on the internet that you don't know very well. 
you now can look at the files, maybe have them scanned with your uh, virus protection program. And there's the files. And, and, and that's what really is this program is going to run when it, when it installs. And again, I could have my antivirus program, you know, ex uh, come through and just look at all of these files, make sure there's no malware or any viruses associated with them. If I'm good, then I can run the actual installer here and install my program. Much safer to do it this way. And again, especially if you're getting uh, an extracted file from somebody you don't know, this, uh, the originating author has not been verified. Okay, I'll leave a link to this software and this video on my uh, website, pcblogger.net, and thanks for watching.